Uh, then we have Grave Robber, who is Summer, is pot one. And then Cammy and Rob's a tool, who I believe are pots two and three. But we do have this tank up, and this is a, this is an exciting tank, Hawkins. He's got about 17 dumpsters <laughs> to hit right over there. Where'd that go? It's in there. And yeah. it's going to make this very, very scary for the survivors, is they're going to take this in the cafe, it looks like. And this is the mentor Dusty tank, and if there's anyone I would trust getting these hittables in here, it would be Dusty. Uh, or K3, but K3 obviously is not in this game. So, do you, we have both war rooms. Do you want to go to one? Sure, let's go, let's go, to, let's go to Survivor. Let's hear the, the, hear the panic. Stress. Okay. I don't know. Some. Well, they're not in good positions yet. He's coming in on me. This, if they no. boom, just make sure you get out the way if you get boomed. In. It's double. You can pill prince. Oh fuck. SI next. Two. Pull. Okay. Maybe we'll get a magic clear. Nope. Uh, he got those corners super quick. The boom kind of fucked us. No, dude. You fucking popped it on me. Dusty. He was booming you already. Don't yeah, worry. but I got stumbled and then caught. Oh no. I wanted to get. I always like to leave the worms on there for an extra second just to hear the. You know, how they take it as a team. Pokemon was not happy that uh, Prodigism popped the boomer on them, even though she was already getting boomed, which was Prodigism's logic. I think the pop didn't really matter. I think that was a wipe regardless, so I'm kind of on Prodigism's side there. Tank still had a ton of health. as a dusty tank. Played perfectly. Got. I like how he had one person like cornered, and he turned around to hit the guy who was only like two hits away because he knew that was an easy corner. And that way, it was a four on three with that guy down, but perfectly played, well played. All that good stuff. Switching sides now, no... Nothing really to comment on. Ellis getting pulled for a second. Jockey around the corner. This could be brutal, but they clear it so much faster than I've ever seen my TFD clear anything. I'm just kidding. Charger got shut down. Spit going down for a tick of damage. No big deal. Dusty is probably going to go get this Witch if he can deal with this Horde. No big deal. This switch should be a pretty easy oh, hit. Now, I for this it. tank, um, we saw this and take it in the cafe. Uh, I think we'll see, probably see the uh, Blood Dusters take it in the same spot. The alarm car is still back there, which is kind of scared. But that one boom will land, and this hit's going to go in and slice separation with a really quick clear. And Jockey on all way. Just, just really quick clears all around. When she said, yeah, I'm really jealous of this right now. These are some pretty good clears there. They were really split, and the jockey even got one on the other side of the dumpster or uh, the truck there. And I was, you know, that's a little can be kind of spooky. But the uh, Rochelle was able to drop down perfectly and clear him, no problem. Indeed, and just like in our match, we will see the other mentor play this map one tank. True. Yeah, I don't know if that's planned. We both had map one tank. Yeah, it must be rigged or something. It's definitely know. rigged. I feel like I've gotten map one tank in every single scrum I've played with my TFPG team this week. Anyway, let's go do a Survivor War Room, Dusty's team. Let's hear how it's going. One. Just you. Mike. Oh, the It's close. The MTA's around the corner. He's in, he's in. Hey, I need some help over here. Up. Reloading. Help me out. Jockey up. Jockey behind you. Jockey I didn't shoot tank any. It's not too late to shoot it. Press it. Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Go, Dusty, go! <laughs> oh. That's a really tough tank, dude. Punching your forward. What a good guy tank. 
<sighs> yeah, you guys can't get caught inside like that. So I, that's why I said in the beginning. If you get caught inside, then you just wipe because it gets a free down pretty much. Yeah. Dusty, hearing a bit of myself in Dusty there, I would say. Dusty. You heard the. <laughs> your brother sim in game say dusted. But uh, mm -hmm. you heard the sigh at the beginning of the can't get caught inside. But Dusty's team will take the lead with that, I would assume. Yeah, is that right? Because they got farther. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they are winning. And I think the key thing there about those tanks was we got some really quick, uh, really quick in to start the tank battle and a couple even multi punches on both sides. Mm hmm. Yep, both good tanks by the mentors there. The tanks still had like 3,000, excuse me, 3,000 health when, uh, when what? Dusty was the last one up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to we'll turn my voice out. enable zero. First one, Dusty, <laughs> to the door light. All right, so I had to turn off my voice in game. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, that's the mentor projects I'm using in game voice chat, but you actually you actually want to use mumble. It's just a more effective chat program, you know. There is a post on Reddit from Xbox explaining why mumble is superior to in game. I suggest you all go check it out. It's actually just in a comment on some Left 4 Dead post. I don't actually remember which one it was. I just remember reading it. Oh, it's on the Left to Learn post in the Left 4 Dead 2 subreddit. That's what it is. That's like pinned to the top of the Left 4 Dead 2 subreddit, by the way. Yeah, I can't imagine that subreddit gets a lot of action. It's okay. I mean, I posted our sp expert speedrun on there, and it got like 25 upvotes and like 13 comments. Hits coming in here. Double boom landing. We got a two cap landing for a second. Charger got two slams, Nick's crying out to kill the jockey, and then they go do that, but then they left Coach all by his lonesome, and he got pulled. So a lot of out damage. Some, some great plays there by, by Rob's cool. He used the Charger to juke the smoker counter. Oh, that's just fantastic. He's a pot two, right? Might have to move him up to pot one after uh, this, after tournament. this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> not to this tournament. But uh, this is a really exciting tank, this event tank. Um, the biggest uh, difference is between this and regular parish is that tank has a lot more mobility and uh, a lot more spawns. So <laughs> yeah, pretty fun to watch. it's so much variety can happen with this with this map mainly. That's the biggest thing with Dark Parish and why it's so much better. It's just the variety it brings. You yeah, know? regular parish you only wipe in some spots, but Dark Parish you just you wipe everywhere. You can so. wipe anywhere. There's no limits to where you can wipe. Indeed. There is limits uh, to when you can wipe, though, and that is just anywhere be before the safe room. It's just guaranteed. Reloading. Yes. It looks like they're going to save for this, this alley hit with Dark Parish here. You don't see this in regular Parish very much, but with Dark Parish, since you can get on top of both of the roofs, you see this hit quite common. So they're dropping in here. Charger's coming in. Wasn't very even close to charging anybody, I'm not going to lie. But he does get a lot of damage on Ellis there, a lot of damage. He took so much in an LMFAO coming out from Dusty because I think he accidentally melee, melee skeeted something. Yeah, that always makes me chuckle when I get those melee skeet. Does it make you fudging laugh your butt off? Reloading. Reloading. I just laugh so hard I start typing. I don't I can't help it. I just start typing. Oh, so it is a pre-event tank. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take this here. Is there an infected ladder on this side of the roof? Well, yeah, yeah, well, the, there's ladders everywhere. You can uh. fight on top of the bridge. You can also fight on any of the roofs. Like, there's a lot of places for these infected to come from, but also the tank can get in without taking hardly any chip in that spot. But honestly, there's not really so any much right now. Sorry, spot. Yeah, uh, honestly, they they do seem to be going back. Honestly, I, I'm surprised by that because going back, all three areas, the gazebo the middle or that left side where the bathrooms all of them suck it is true but what they will be here which is kind of nice is they're going to force this tank to lose a pass so mm, now true. the tank has to be a little more uh, aggressive in his sight and whether he's going to commit he doesn't have as much time to you know, true. think around the rock that's a good point is that pass is a good point let's go to the infected war room and hear them commit the tank and then be disappointed that they don't wipe here we go Reloading. Okay. Go. Nice pull. Nice pounce. It's clear you just gotta keep sight. You might have to follow them uh, and go towards center. No? I'm just gonna have to commit. Not yet. Just go towards the center. You've got, if you get on top of those bushes, you've got sight. We need to keep sight. Just any jump from bush to bush and you can go in. Come up here. Uh, I'm going in. The AI's, it's not the worst You're thing either. You're not gonna get to them like that. 
There's split. It's AI, it's AI. Let's get ready. Keep looking for a boom. You can get on top of them over a fence. Yeah, pull this one. We're gonna go for a hit. Uh, nice boom. Tank's going for that guy. Let's just keep getting haps from the right. From the right. Get that pull as soon as you can. And we're, the rest of us are in. Oh fuck. Uh, it's okay. It's alright, that's good damage. Yeah. For having to insta commit. I really wanted to be a commit. Dang, there's not much salt coming out the end there. But they did end up accidentally AIing the tank. Adax took not a great route to catch back up to them, so that was uh, kind of a mistake there. But well played by the survivors. I mean, they, the fact that they're still alive after that tank, a tank, is an achievement. Hit is coming in here. Smoker getting a pull for a second. Hunter coming in. Jumping around quite a bit. Jockey gets him to Dusty kills the Smoker. It's going to kill the Jisaki in a second. Someone else killed the Hunter. Probably Ellis. Yeah, it's poor yeah. Ajax. The pop four lost his tank. They kind of kited him around a little bit. He got kind of... Took kind of a misroute and uh, just couldn't keep sight. Yeah, unfortunately, with the uh, added roof spawns, you can really just go straight across. You can go to scaffolding, go over fences, get on top of the roofs, and you really get that sight a lot quicker than normal. But he kind of went the, the old way, and as a result, he lost that pass. Um, this first attack here on this choke of a 2 2. A charger and a smoker, so a lot of damage could go out here. Charger and, leading oh. the way, getting a double You're charge, but cleared right away. No, I didn't see it happen. Did she get pushed she out of the spit? Uh, she went like flying forward. After she got cleared by the charger? Yeah. It was on my screen, I just didn't see I wasn't looking at that part of it. So I didn't see it. <laughs> so he got pushed out of the spit. I bet flying. they're really happy about that. The health bonus, charge spit on health bonus, and they just could fly out of the spit magically. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. But uh, we still do have a high amount of health bonus on Rochelle. Nick still got some as well. Good luck capping Dusty. And uh, another hit coming in here. Charger coming in. Jockey landing on Alice. Charger wants Rochelle bad, but she missed him. Oh, that Charger looked like he was about to charge Rochelle. And then he, like, stopped and took, like, another step to the right and then clicked. For, like, I thought he had it. And then he moved. And Rochelle does not even look at that Charger. Regardless, Rochelle did take a decent amount of damage. That a 288 health bonus right now. That's really high for this just this map in general. I've only seen people make this map like once or twice in all of the scrims we played on it. Yeah, this is a pretty solid bonus. Still some map left though, and they haven't gotten the witch just yet, have they? No. Yeah, no, there's the witch in the, the usual spot. Right. And they have two not health bonus. One has a Ellis has a shotgun, so we'll probably just stick with that. So nothing too bad there, even if they do fail. Another hit's coming here. Charger coming in for that health bonus. He gets Dusty. Dusty might go down for this. Oh, no, gets cleared by Rochelle, but his health bonus is gone. Now he might go down. Now he's down. He got the punch and the charge on Dusty there. Dusty not able to get that level. A barf bag coming out eventually. Not a barf bag, I'm sorry. That's when you actually boom off four of them. But he proxied the last couple there. But uh, coming out there, so they're all boomed. Moving forward slowly. Rochelle slowly losing that health bonus. The other two bleeding out. Alice probably going to want to try and take this witch. There he goes, drawing it in. Hunter, looks like he wants to come in with it. Hunter gets shut down. Alice coming in hot. Witch taking a very odd route to Alice. Spit coming in. Gets an in-cap on Coach. There's only two survivors up right now, and we got a Charger Jockey coming in. Charger landing for Rochelle. They punch him a little bit. Jockey, or I'm sorry, Charger misses Dusty. Rochelle will go down way in the back. It's crumbling for the survivors right now. Oh god, that's loud. Yeah, they're down to a one health bonus right now, so uh, not really as much as it was before that. That body uh, dang! They're using some elevation to his advantage. Nice play, getting on the rails. Spit off doesn't like to go on rails, so. Ooh, the hunter! Oh. The, that's a mentor hunter right there. Yeah, that's some mentor on mentor action right there. And right there, and we saw what mentor come came out on top. But we'll see what Mentor comes out on top in this game overall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Give me one second. I need to let my dogs in. All right. Well, while Alexi is be right backing.
thanks for uh, the host, Montclair. Welcome, everybody, from Montclair Stream. I hope your game was enjoyable. We got a doozy one here, over here at uh, Dock and Stream. Uh, did my spy code turn off? Or I think Ready Up just covers it. But it's a close one. They both wiped map one. There was like a 20 point difference. So this tank Alrighty, is. I sorry, I was talking when not holding it on my button. But uh, yeah, so I was saying this tank is pre event, but the. Honestly, this is probably the best tank spine for the survivors I think I've seen. Because you get to make it lose a pass right away. Like, event tank is brutal. The early map two is brutal because it can keep sight all day. Like, this is probably the best for the survivors like that they could hope for, I think, on this map. Would you agree with I'd that? I'd agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. And just real quick before we get into the action, I want to give a shout out to Ajax's brother for watching. And a shout out to Yams for keeping the chat popping. And Yams hasn't even talked in a while in my chat, dude. He's he like, not even here anymore. Though, so I was just kind of just going for it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's whatever. What I He's just, yeah, yeah, so. I'm sorry. It's awkward now. Whatever. Hit coming in here, Charger missing everything. Smoker getting a neat little pull in the front, and they got the three boom. They have no glows, but they still managed to find Coach over there while he was pulled. A good amount of damage coming out, and then they're going to have some straggler common damage as well. Turn up. And uh, moving forward here slowly. But that's a lot of good, that's a good amount of damage for that first hit. Rochelle's still hoarded in the back. She's probably complaining about it in Mumble. But they seem to have cleared her, and they're moving on here. Spawns are coming up, and um, we have some nice hedges they've added on the right. We'll see if maybe a boomer up. Boomer might want to go for it, but no, he actually is just going to go for the usual spot. It's Hunter well, going for that DP, yep. He's coming in hot. He misses the DP. Jockey landing on Rochelle, though. A little bit of a slow clear. Not landing the charge once again. A lot of damage on Rochelle. Boomer coming in, able to get a couple hunters. Looks like he's going to despawn with that charger. So really only two spawns even hit right there, but they still got a lot of damage on Rochelle for some reason. It just took a kind of a while clearing that jockey. Yeah, I think they were all kind of worried about that hunter a little bit. I know uh, that hunter was targeting a project somewhere, so he was occupied. And I think he had someone else kind of keeping that hunter as well. So hunter There's distraction, of easy. Yeah, yeah and we'll see this. Don't tunnel your hunters, kids. This new choke, exactly. So they're setting up on both sides here. I'm trying to think, what's the best camera angle here? Maybe like this. This Maybe looks like good. The bird's Ooh. Eye. The bird's yeah, I've got the down. bird's eye, dude. Straight down. We're coming in. Hunter coming in. Straight down. Charger landing in the front. Spitter's going to spit on that. That's going to be an in-cap on Rochelle, I would assume. Another pull back in a spit. Oh, a beautiful a pull. pull. It's beautiful is what it is. And uh, do get an in-cap on Rochelle. A lot of damage on Ajax right there. Also, no big deal for the infected. They do this in their sleep on this map. <laughs> yeah, that um, you're having uh, Rochelle go down there wasn't really that big of a deal, but Ajax like probably about thirty some damage there being pulled back into that split. So that's that's pretty, that's pretty painful, right? especially free tank. So. Brutal. And we're gonna see this tank. I want to see if this tank goes the other way to get in if it's any faster. Mm -hmm. I think, and I'm gonna show it to my stream here real quick. If you look at the red brick house, I think there's a the roof connects. And you can go, I think you might, I don't know if it's blocked off right there. You see what I'm talking about? Like, you should climb yeah, on that go. red I'm, house. I'm pretty sure you can go. I'm going to go over to this hit that's probably going to happen in the but alley there, here. Uh, there is also a hit of a car on top of the bridge, which is fun to hit over. Ooh, what a two cap in the back there. They had a tri cap momentarily in the last person to clear the charge in the front. And Rochelle is down again. She's going to be black and white. Coach is also taking a lot of damage. The tank's just now getting in close range. I think we went infected last time, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Let's yeah. go infect it again. They're going to go the standard side. It's fine. It's a fine commit tank here with that bush. It's just going to kind of split. Might be able to capitalize on you. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. I'll call this one. Alright, let's go. I'll have another time. Yeah. 
relatively quiet after the fact there, but that was some good damage. They they hit who they needed to hit there, which was Prodigy Sim at the bulk of the permanent health left. So the fact that they got rid of his, most of his permanent health is a big deal. It's going to make this the rest of this map pretty annoying for them. Yeah, there is one set of pills in the trailer. I'm not really sure about the rest of this map, but it's going to be tough to make this. Two boom coming out, spit coming down right in the middle. Jockey getting on Nick for half a second. Pretty much all of their perm health more or less gone after that hit. It was very slivers on three different people now, but it's a lot of damage. I, it's it's going to be a struggle making the map. That much is for sure. I I, I don't want to be a pessimist and say the truth, which is that they probably won't make the map. But you know what? It's going to be hard, but you know what? Game Competitive gaming is all about prevailing. You know what I mean? Let's show some perseverance out here to all these people watching the cast and all that good stuff, you know? Kind of losing steam on this motivation talk, as I say it. Yeah, and also you got to factor we have two survivors <gasps> really slow. Probably a little more after this. <laughs> a little yeah, more. <laughs> big time double uh, yeah. just the, the ink cap and the pull in the front. And Pokemons are loading to... It's going to be That's three uh, in cap. Yeah. And and, uh, Rochelle is also black and white right now, so. It's true. And there's also this an event going on. This is scary. This is really going to test uh, her resolve. It's going to really test her perseverance. It's being tested. It didn't. She couldn't persevere. She just couldn't do it. There's too many obstacles in her way, you know? Well, I think that test needs to be graded on a curve. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. And after two maps, 678 to 529 in favor of the butt dusters. And, uh, Such a high scoring game. Up. Yeah, map three loading up. Um, this can be a, a, an interesting map. You know, usually some of the tank fights, you know, on regular parish are pretty, pretty simple, but they've definitely solved that problem. And I think this is actually one of the easier tank fights in this particular campaign, this late post drop tank. Do you have any, any opinions on that? Uh. When is this? Post drop? This is, oh, dude, yeah, I don't think they're going to make it to it. Sorry. Uh, they're going to... They're going to be... It is a hard tank to fight. You know, if you can manage to get four people there with green health, um, you know, I think you can do it pretty easily. It's kind of hard to LOS in that area, but you can definitely do it. Like, you just got to take the hits well. But And then a lot of people like to play that tank really aggressively. But uh, I think that's honestly the best course of action. So, you know, they'll probably play it pretty aggressively if, the, if they're there. But, but I, you know, it'll, it'll be great to see them make it to that tank. Yeah, and uh, back up for me. We'll see the, the pull forward. Oh, the charge is not going to be guy. We'll get a charge and a pound. Skip! Yeah, we'll yeah, we did some decent damage. Oh, that's uh, that's Summer. He's left with one player, so don't try and pound him. Yeah, you cannot pound Salas, dude. Take your hunters elsewhere. Take your hunters elsewhere. But uh, the big thing about <laughs> this map, which is, you know, really different um, compared to regular parishes, the ladder choke does not have the uh, normal nerfs that we see on regular parish. So there's no ledge to stand on. There's no spit block. And some games earlier, we saw some pretty big damage coming out on that ladder choke. Not our game, because we didn't make the ladder. I think you did, but we did. Uh, we did, and we just kind of rushed straight up, knowing that there's really not much you can do about it. So it is the the regular Parish. This Charger went in. He didn't even realize that they had kind of pushed him. Oops. Sorry, I was typing my spec HUD as I was doing that to see who the Charger was. But uh, not much going on on that hit, actually. That looked promising, because the two people did drop into the Charger's face, but he, didn't really, he or she did not really realize it until it was too late. I don't know who it was, though. Can't call them out. Yeah, I missed it too. Also, quick shout out to Grim Jowie for following. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. And hello to Monster Cat 212. Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. Welcome to a riveting game. Single boom coming out. Survivors, I think they needed, they would rather be inside if I were them because they, in fact, it can literally come from everywhere. All yeah, of the rooftops. The way to be at this point, they are gonna kind of take their time to clean some time. They're not gonna, not gonna rush out, even though they're desperate. Oh, there is a wish in front though, so that is, uh, this is gonna be challenging. Let's see what happens here. Wait, where is it? Oh shoot, I missed it. It's down here. I found it. Dusty looks like he's gonna. He looks like he wants it. He looks hungry for the dub. 
You can take dub as witch, win, doesn't matter. It's all are applicable. The witch has seen him. She sees him. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, she's like, oh. She's getting really upset. I don't know. This, she's knows something fishy is going on. Oh, gets the pull. They need to clear the tongue. Oh, they empty him. It's okay. Witch is coming in. It's going after Dusty. Coach got a nice meat shot into it. Coach is going to take care of it for Dusty on her way. Pretty easily taken. Um, something died. I think it was the... Something died. I didn't see what it was. Pokemon went in there. And an, a K coming out from Ajax. That probably means that uh, there was a miscommunication there at some point. But So the survivors took the Witch, no problem. Moving forward through the map. Smoker coming in, getting nothing. I would assume they're going to wait for them to drop at this point. Because now they are in this room. They're going to have to drop into this little other room here. They do have a spitter damage too, so we could just see uh, all sorts. Oh, that hunter, he's being sneaky. He's gonna go in. Not, he's gonna blow his cover. He's gonna pounce on the Nick. That's gonna go in. Oh, what a try cap temporarily. And that's just uh, a plethora of damage there. Mm. Cammy's still ticking down. Dusty going down to about half health. And that's the hit you needed if you are on Team Breezy. You gotta be happy it with is, that. Yeah. There's uh, if you were if Jarl were here, he would say that was soup sprit, soup sprits. Shout out to Jarl Axel. Yeah, Darl would say a lot of things. He would say a lot of things. Maybe he'd call some people trash. Yeah, you know, there's there's unlimited possibilities if Darl were here, really. Tell me about it. Indeed, uh, it looks like we might see a hit here as we're dropping out. Boomer's gonna go in. Boomer's gonna pop onto Coach. Oh my god! Especially if the infected really... are setting up for when they drop here. They're not really trying to hit up top. Just looking at where their ghosts are setting up. Looks like they're waiting for these survivors to drop. They're probably just going to drop right on top of them. Let's see it. Here come oh, d oh. oh change his mind. mind. Change his mind. We're going to go on up to the next. Oh, just kidding. Oh, I'm back in the act. Oh, the charger charger mounted around, around the corner. Oh, good. Pretty decent clear. That's so hard to get a good camera angle here. It's pitch black. I had to switch to first person. Everybody up the ladder. I couldn't well, see anything, and I, it was this not is, a good angle. I apologize to everybody. This is dark parish, so I'd expect it to be pitch black. It's just more variety in the camera angles. Uh, unfortunately for Team Breezy, they really kind of just give them that ladder for first. True. Just coach taking I wonder if they coach. knew that it was nerfed, or like the, the, not nerfed rather. We got some separation coming out. They're trying to capitalize on it. Dusty's separated by his team. He misses the charge, gets punched once, but then shuts down this, the jockey as well. So not much coming off on that separation. Dusty was very far from his team. Single boom coming out. Boomer is just chilling on the alarm car. They're not going to pop him, obviously. Cammy's really close to setting off the alarm, but not going to happen. She's really split because she got so hoarded. None of her team cleared her as well. They got to be careful not to set off this alarm when they clear her as well. They're going to go ahead and use that melee weapon. Smart move. Cammy taking a lot of damage there. She's slow now again, and also still bleeding. Boomer did yeah, respawn. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, a lot of damage, but not really any perm health going out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Already a loss all the perm health, so not really a big deal score-wise, but we'll make you think a little harder to fight, and that boomer's getting pushed around, not getting that proxy on the Nick. That's incredible. I'm also, you can go ahead and call me out. I said they weren't going to make it to this tank. They're going to make it to the tank, most likely. Charger coming in, getting a nice two-cap in the front there. Quick little bit of damage. They will probably make it to this tank. Uh, so we'll see how they play it, but um, yep, I had my doubts. Yeah, actually, I'm getting a message from Dar Darl's calling you a trash caster for Oh, uh, no. Yeah, so you're probably really embarrassed. See, I made that up, actually. I'll submit it. But uh, <laughs> I do want to see who this tank is going to be and how they are going to play. You can keep some distance sight from, you know, from a distance. Swire true, true. Us pretty hard. And there are no sniper and rifles if you're not familiar with ProMod. There's simply just shotguns and Uzis. So there's no sniper to do damage at long range to the tank with. A quick... Boom coming out on Ellis. He's kind of split a little bit. I kind of expect him to hit here. Charger's looking for that spawn. Ellis inside that room. He's a left at one player. He's going for him with the hunter. No, he switches. He's going for the charger. Smart move. He catches the charge because those are not in left at one. He's really split inside that room. He's going to take an in-cap. I'm not sure why they were so split there. They seem to be just all over the place. That's two bleeding now for this tank, which pretty much guarantees that they're going to have to push it hard. Oh, indeed, and great call by the infected. They that hunter was going for him, but he didn't realize who he was, and that charger went in. And can't ski the charger. Can't, can't ski can't. the charger. I'm gonna switch oh. this on over to a infected war room because I want to hear what they have to say about 
Left 4 Dead 2. Right yes. here and drop on him. Where are you? Oh, I see. Yeah, I want to get up top. That's right. You want us? Came in yeah. One more? What? Oh, oh my god. Shoot the tanks. What? Wow. Who was that? Is Rob's the tool? <laughs> jump. <sighs> Yikes. I cannot believe that they killed that tank. That was Not only brutal. did they make the tank, they got past the tank. They got and past just the tank. There was confusion on the, the SI's that was... comms. That's how it's called. Oh, that was kind of a meme. Reloading. That whole tank fight. I can't believe they killed that. Hit coming in here. Hunter coming in. Gets the quick pounce. Charger coming in. Punching Ellis. They kill Ellis. He's dead. Nick is the last one of the jockeys. You can't jockey Dusty. He's gonna kill the jockey easily. Yeah, yeah. You should just respawn at that point. Yeah, just kill the jockey. It's useless. Just kill it. I think what happened, the tank got that first early rock on Ellis and in Captain, which was great. Like, sure. But then after that, he missed every punch except for like one or two, and then the S he got like a single boom support, and then a, there was a jockey that came in after the tank died, and then the, I don't know what the other capper was, but the support just didn't really show up. He got like a single boom, jockey didn't show up till after he was dead. Quick pounce coming in, Rochelle. The I don't know what the other support was, but it didn't seem to do much of anything. The tank just missed. Oh, was it a smoker? Yeah. Yeah, the tank just missed too many punches. He just kind of got juked like crazy and ended up dying. I don't know, that was just kind of a meme all around. I feel like that shouldn't have happened at all. But yeah, I think... Go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry. There no, you no, go. No, no, no. I was just trying to fill that air, but I wanted to do it time. <laughs> yeah, so you've worn yourself out, you're young. Um, but we are at the end of this map. We will probably see these survivors get... Well, we've got a few seven modes right now. I'm not, yeah, not too big, but um, we're going to go ahead and just rush in here. Oh! Even less because they just slayed Coach at the end there. That's a shame. They should name a school <laughs> after him. my life. <laughs> they should name a school after him. Yeah. Coach Elementary. <laughs> oh. oh damn. So here we are, second half, and this is you know this map is worth you know quite a bit. You got 600 mm. distance, 1200 worth of bonus available. And you know, really, if um, if we can see Breezy get to that tank with you know relatively solid health, there's a good chance they they come back here and take the lead. There's a good chance. I want to give a quick shout out to a couple people, Krabison, Krabisan, however I say that, Chaos Reaper, I'm not sure if I said that right either, Carter A, Randazzo 420. Thank you guys for the follows. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, do you want to say welcome to Alexi? Say say welcome to my stream. I would like to welcome not just you two, but Three. all hundred of you. I'm welcoming everyone. That's even, sure. you know, that's more welcoming. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, I want know. them to like. I they like want them to follow. So I like reward yeah, them by saying hi to them when they follow. You know but what if I mean? You forget about the old followers, then they're gonna unfollow. I'm not. You. I don't forget about the old followers. Like I, I guarantee you, all hundred people right now in this view, like viewing this are not following me. So I'm not gonna give a shout out to a hundred piglet. Like people in the chat right now that are following. Thank you guys. Thank you for stopping by. All you people who are stopping by that don't haven't followed yet. What's the deal, man? Click that follow button. I'll just give you a shout out personally. Thank you. That's my spiel. That's nice of you. That's very kind. That's very kind. But we are going live for some action. That boomer is going to pre spawn. He may hit an arc. We could be in arc boom city in just a second. Survivors are looking Ooh. for that boomer. They're thinking what to do. They're looking up at the skies. But is it going to matter? Is it going to matter? Can you pop the arc boom? Does the arc boom even go out? This is. <gasps> the charger from on top oh, of his dome. He gets the Arc Boom City. The LL Arc Boom City LL. The charger went in too quick. Missed his charge by clicking on top of their heads. But a little bit of damage coming in. I think uh, what landed. I didn't even really see it to be honest. There's too many people. My spiel worked because take down what? Duck 778, Artele, and Petchislav. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you for the follow. Back to the cast. 
Yeah, sorry. Once I saw the Arkham City come out, I just kind of mm. panicked. I don't right, know. I just they they forgot just everything involved. else after that. I saw the charge, and then, you know, the rest was a mystery. Charge coming in, okay. pulling Rochelle into that room. And then the spit going down, that's a lot of damage on Ajax. He's going to go down. Could not get out of that. There's Horde in that room. The Charger grabbed him from outside and ripped him into the room. And then the Charger, the Spitter had Death Spit on it as well. There's just so much going on in yeah, that room. the Charger has one really strong arm, so he can pull you back inside places. Right, yeah. What if the Charger had, like, a, a grab that wasn't just like you had to click, you know, to charge them, but it was like a... It was like you could reach a little bit. Like, you had a little bit more reach, and you could, like, pull them to you. You know, not like a oh. smoker, but, like, just with your arm. You just could have, like, you know, you could pull them in instead of charge them. If uh, it was timing and accuracy based, I'd be all for it. I love skill-based game mechanic. Sure, and, dude. Uh, fun fact, uh, coming in, in pro, pro mod 4.6. Oh, God. Charge coming in, getting that rocket charge. A jockey coming down at the same time. Try cap! Coming out here, a lot of damage on Nick there. A good boom landing. The jockey go with the bait. Oh, what a jockey! He started climbing out like he was gonna leave, and then press space off the infected ladder and pounce back onto his shells. A lot of damage going on right there. No surprise that was a dusty jockey. The men. No surprise at all. No surprise. No surprise. I wouldn't expect anything less. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, not really the start. I think Breezy's looking for on this this uh, particular map. I would agree, but they still, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We still got this witch I coming up here. Work. They gotta get out of the way. I think Ajax is gonna go ahead and probably shoot it. He's, uh, he hasn't committed his pills. He has gone down once already, but I, I for, don't foresee the switch being a huge issue. Ellis gets pulled down to the witch! Uh, oh no! He has a shotgun. Oh no! I couldn't oh see it because no. of the smoker cloud, but he missed. Charger coming in, a barf bag coming in. That's an achievement in Left 4 Dead 1. The spit goes down on the charge. She's getting her butt beat. She cries out for help. The boomer coming in, trying to get it. Project Sim is might die from this. He's so hoarded and he's oh, got he's spit dead. on him. He's, he's dead. dead. There's no defibs in Pro Mod. Oh, oh no, that's Jacob's fault. It's actually Project Sim's fault. I think he was probably oh. involved when they removed him. True, true, true. But yes, that is a death coming out of Project Sim. He tried to make up for getting pulled down by getting that clutch crown, but just couldn't pull. Couldn't get it. I think the smoker cloud was too much. I think that had to be it, because I couldn't yeah. even see it. SI with the smoke grenade out makes it hard to see. Mm. And uh, two little fun facts there is one, we saw the other two men for get pulled from that very same window. And Ajax tried to help him out. He tried to go off that crown, but unfortunately, uh, he some beat him to it, and that witch just was not having any of that. Mm -mm. Hit looks like it wants to hit as soon as they come outside here. Survivor's slowly walking out. Boomer coming in, getting a two boom. There's so many trees, I can't get a good spot. Here it comes DP, 23 damage pounds. Charger coming in, gets a stumble on Rochelle. He's gonna get jockeyed after that, gets punched like crazy. Rochelle's like, help me. He's, he's dead actually, he's black and white. I forgot about that. Pokemon's also down. Jockey is still alive. There's both boomed. Coach didn't have glows, he couldn't find them. He couldn't find the guy, Jockey. You can't blame him for that. This isn't really, you know, he's not, he's not used to realism versus, I guess. Jockey going in, landing on coach. Pokemon does have a Magnum, but she was reloading as he took him behind the tree, and that's going to be a wipe. Holy cow. Holy moly. Cammy coming so out with the memes in all chat as well. Yeah, so roughly a 500 point difference. So if we see an early tank here on this next map, we could see a comeback. The comeback could be very, very real, very alive. True, true. We just need some distance, you know. This is the last map finale would not be played in the tournament, so just a reminder to that. Uh, so this is their last chance. This is Breezy's last chance to take this game back into their control. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Shout out to my OGK for finally following me after I see him in my chat all the time. Fudge yourself. Doberman039, thank you for the follow. What were you going to say about the tank spawn? <laughs> uh, it's it's 29%. I don't really know where that is. That's is that going to be? Gotta be... That, like, kitchen area? Mm, yeah. I would say it's going to be, and I'll free spec to it. I think it's going to be, once you go to the right into that side room, um, I think it's going to be, like, either at this doorway here, the second doorway, like, this, right before you come out into the courtyard, or at the in that bottom kitchen over here, one of these two spots. I can see that, so we're probably going to see them push forward, though, into that yeah, kitchen area. Yeah. 
We will see. Which is, which is tough because there's no ammo on this map. So it's really hard to kill things after you run out. Survivors taking their time here. Let me throw that and spec cut up. All right. Nice little tri cap with a boomer here. Um, Ooh. The way these booms been landing, we could see some pretty good damage here. Oh, boom, boomer coming in early. Got that two proxy in. boom. Smoker coming in first, gets his tongue broke on that pole. Hunter coming in. Charger's not even spawning yet. He knows he doesn't like when he sees. He's trying. Oh, a nice little two cap on the boom, guys. I don't know what the charger's waiting for. If he wasn't moving, I wonder if he was like lagging or stock or something. He's just. He's just spectating. Just chilling. He saved the charger. I'm not really oh, sure what why. If but... we, uh... What if we see this? There's a really nice charge you can do off the roof. You go inside the building they're in right now. And he's not gonna do it though. That's my favorite charge in this map. What? Like from behind them and then forward uh, off the no, roof? No, you go. You, you charge across the street. Like you go midair. Oh. The the roof. Oh, and I know what you're talking it, about. No one ever expects it's it. It's like right here. I'm showing my stream. It's right here, and you charge this way into the room. Yep. Where like Ajax is. I that roof. I'm not where he's yeah. anymore. But. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think. So I would expect them to drop in on the survivors in the street here. Ajax missing his rocket boom. I know that's what he's going for there. You can get a spawn behind the van if he wants it, but it looks like he wants to go way back up top. Charger coming in and missing. Spit coming in for a few ticks of damage. Ajax coming in going for that arc boom. Got it on Nick. Nice. Man, while we're at 20 up, kind of, this tank is almost up any second now. And and with well, actually, forward, it's, I mean, they're at 18% right now. They're not quite there. So maybe it's wait, a little bit later than I thought. Tanks 29. I see survivor progress 19%. I can't type current oh, for whatever reason. Cut? Oh, oh it's because... Yeah, it's because my freaking... Yeah, the spec cut's lying then. I was wondering why my bind wasn't working. It's because it's in my auto exec and I exec the caster thing. Uh, the tank... Charger got cleared before it landed. Spit had nothing to spit on. Smoker's gonna go down here in the back. Let's say the survivor's gonna stay in this double room here. So for you guys that are new to Dark Parish here, this is uh, a new area here. Instead of going into that other room with the pool room, you push right into that side room and it spits out into this little courtyard. And uh, this courtyard turns into a little kitchen and then like a little bar area. So it looks like they're going to stay in underneath this balcony here that is uh, exclusive need, to, to Dark to Parish. Warm, we do need to, to go here. there. Okay, yeah, let's go. What do you want? You want me to go? Um, yeah. Let's do it. Small room, so that's okay. Help some. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Uh oh. Fuck you, Ghosty! We got two of them in cap. Or cap. Clear. <laughs> it's gonna be clear. <gasps> nice punch. Clear. He's clear, he's clear, he's clear. He's clear. He's clear. He's clear. He's clear. He's clear. Good damage. We're back. A lot of damage going there. Yeah, it was uh, it was looking really good for a second there, especially, but then she missed a tank, a punch or two on uh, was it Ellis? No. Who is a machete? Was Nick and uh, Rochelle, I believe, were the ones that got double punched, and then the, the mm. follow-up punch didn't miss. And we did hear just an emphatic, uh, I think it was a charge by Ajax onto Dusty, and just the, the emotion of the charge. Oh, was that him landing? I thought he had missed something. Uh, uh, he, he gave out a nice little fudge you. Yeah, I heard the fudge you. A little bit of damage going in there. Pulled in the alarm car. It's going off. The zombies are coming. That alerts the horde. Uh, uh, apocalypse time. Apocalypse time. <laughs> so I don't know who this. Hey, that's pretty good guy is, but um. Uh, yeah, how long is in here? Yeah, that's the time he's left. He's so. Uh, he just left. If like, anyone, if anyone knows him. Oh my gosh! There's that. a witch. Fudge! I missed the action. Oh. I apologize, everybody. Alice tried to go for the witch, the smoker pulled on the witch, and uh, he was not able to get the crown. And so he went down. I didn't even know there was a witch there, I apologize. It all happened so fast, I really can't be blamed. I didn't even know it was there, I skipped straight over to the event area. Like, I didn't even look inside. Yeah, well, it's because that guy kept joining, he distracted us, so... Yeah, you know, it's his fault. This so is go fudge yourself. Hey, that's pretty yeah. good. Get off our ship show. Is that what you say? I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, it's like it's a ship show, but we're not a ship Sorry, show. No. This right now is I'm fine. I'm old. I don't know the lingo anymore. So hits coming in here. We got a tri-cap with a spitter. Hunter, jockey, charger, spitter. Charger able to get that charge. Gets that stumble on Ellis in the spit. He's going to go down again. Jockey going in, trying to get Rochelle, but he just can't. He just can't. The jockey is so useless. It's been proven yep. fact by the high-level competitive left at 2 scene. Yeah, it's someone give us a right click to change class or whatever. Plug it. Please. Oh, and yeah, I think that, uh, this might be blocked, too. dude. If they try and jump this right now, I feel like it's uh, blocked. Yeah, yeah you can't right? go until the event stops. Yeah. Just another one of the many ways that Dark Parish balances the campaign. Variety, bro. Like, who wants to run across early? Yeah, it is blocked, as you saw them. They apparently know that already. They tried to walk into it to test it, but they were still blocked. Hunter up up top. Smoker getting that pull down on Ellis. Chucky going in on Coach on the front. He's going to go down, down below. They're just going to have to pretty much go the distance, I think, at this point. It's not worth waiting for either of those people when they're bleeding out that much. Rochelle's at 1 HP. Yeah. The person, other person did actually, Nick actually dropped to go with them. So Rochelle's probably just going to get distance here, I would assume. Yeah, well, before that end cap, they had a combined 14 health. So, um. Uh, <gasps> what a level! For our survivors. Did they get the level? I think he did. Oh, it says he level. killed them. So, mentor level by the one and only Dusty. Not able yeah, to Dusty secure. Dusty apparently did not read the rules where it says the mentors shouldn't carry too much. Is that in the rules? Just gonna, just, um, something like that. He's just been a beast. He's, I he's crowned beast. like two or three witches in our match, so I apologize. I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're gonna try hard, so. To... Well, I mean, when I crowned the one. That I got pulled on. Whatever. I don't. We'll I talk don't about it after. They're about to wipe. Him. So, they're they got pulled down. Nick's pretty much dead. Alice is at one HP here. They're gonna want to try and pick up Rochelle. Maybe the spit can incap Alice if it has a spit. It has the spit. It's going in. Alice is dead. They scratched him to death. Oh no! The charger coming in. That's gonna be a wipe for the charger there. Total distance of 370. I'm not gonna get 20. Oh wait, they get hold out. That's right. So they get hold yeah. out bonus. None for the witch. But what I was going to say was when I got the one on this map where I got pulled, uh, I, <laughs> I joined Montclair's stream for like a second. I wanted to see how um, how many viewers he had. So I joined it, and then I look over in chat real quick. It was in between the rounds, for the mind you, as well. Ooh. And uh, I see Chrome Mike say, <laughs> well, like calling that crown good, I do that in my sleep, yo. Ooh. So yeah, I got I called out, Chrome man. Mike. Crow Mike was posting about, you know, people were trolling him and how he's a changed man. Uh, but Crow Mike, wait, wait. you know what I mean? You know, that, that teleporting tank thread where he was like, people are trolling yeah, me. People talked about like, me in there? I just stopped I, reading no, it. No, 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 not you. It, oh. He was talking about how oh. he gets trolled and he's not mean anymore. But he's being mean, and if you're watching Crow Mike, we're going to teleport some tanks on you if you don't change <laughs> your behavior. You, you don't, don't change like your that. behavior, man. I don't know how anyone <laughs> can call you a toxic player when you publicly call people bad in cast chat. Anyway, we're moving on from that to a whole different topic that we're not going to go into too much else. But, uh, Survivor's finally readying up here. The, what do they need? They need to make the map, right? 700. They need yeah, a thousand points. By, yeah, about 900 points. So they need to make this with a little bit of bonus. This map is worth a ton of points, though. They don't need a ton of permanent health. And this is a tank spawner. They, they, could, they could do this. Yeah, I mean, like, I've... I haven't seen anyone make this map literally in any scrim I've played on this map, but I was always told the best way to balance Left Dead 2 is to just make it pure distance scoring. So if they can just make the map like once, then they can do it. Ajax lagged past that charger, and a little cap coming in the front of the pond, the hunter getting the pull in the back. Somehow that boom didn't get anything. I'm surprised why he didn't boom. Uh, Ellis. Yeah, I thought I was going to hit one. That just happens in this game sometimes, though. You think you've got it, and, and you just don't. Quick and note to the chat. Um, surprisingly, Chrome Mike is actually already banned from my chat, so that's why he's not talking, but let's move on. Let's not bring up his name anymore. <laughs> uh, so Tank is up. There is some Horde coming in, and uh, spawns are up. We'll see who survivors do. Should we go to another uh, Breezy War Room? They, they need this if mm. you want to balance it out. Let's do it. Let's hear the sheer... Disappointment in their voices when they wipe. I'm just kidding. Go breezy. There's a boomer. Pudge, I'm messing this up. Lots. We can rush back right now. This is such no, a tight quarters the thing. It's hard to do. Us, we can't. Oh fuck. I'm gonna need 
wait to pill. Yeah, you watch the door. Is he going to front? He's going front, he's going behind. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bounce front room. Get to that. Oh, well, we're double. Y'all can do it, come on. Good shit. I already killed though. I think that uh, it's just pure focus we're hearing from their worm at the end there, where it was, uh, they were pretty much, they were happy they killed the tank, however, I don't think they have enough the health they need to make the map, say to be Debbie Downer. Ajax did go down again, I don't think he's been down, actually I don't think he's been down, he filled I think, without going down. I was lying, he's been down twice. So he's black and white now. So this is going to be a tough match to make with four people bleeding out and they're out of pills. So it's going to be pretty dang tough, but you know what? It's it's doable. For the sake of casting, it's doable. They're going for it. They, they're brave. They're never scared. They're going to go for this victory. And this is a tough one here. This long card in the middle and Jock is going down. Hunter is going to hit. Spitter's just kind of in the middle of the room getting a uh, spit and Silver is going to get out of there. So. Some more chip in, you know, Nick and Rochelle are getting fairly low, and even Ellis mm -hmm. is dropping pretty fast, so... I do hear because, them cry out pretty often. Yeah, because they can't, touched. you know, jump the event thing faster. Mm, true. That's really good. And they're all gonna be, like, best case, if the, the SI just don't hit at all. Best case, that event's over, they're all at 1 HP. Like, from just yeah. from strictly bleeding, you know? Well, Ajax is now 5 health black. Mm-hmm. Which is going in here, I don't know who she's going for. I think it's Coach, yeah, she got Coach. Ajax is dead, Nick is down again. I apologize for burping, my Mountain Dew's hitting me. But, uh, probably just him is the last one alive. There's actually a jockey, it's silent in that room, he doesn't even know. Oh, he heard it now. And he's not moving anymore. Maybe he's pretending to lag out. Oh, he's back, and he M2's at the jockey. <laughs> <laughs> in frantic M2. <laughs> oh, it's Mouse died. Funny, that's, uh... <laughs> that's funny, actually. And he was able to kill that jockey. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference. Prince is going to go ahead and die from that horde. Yeah, he's down to three Oops. health, two health. I think he's almost dead, so... That is going to be <laughs> it. That is the wipe for Breezy. We have the final score coming out as 17-16 for Dusty's team. Butt Dusters to 1,095 to Team Breezy. Yeah, you know, Butt Dusters is a, uh, they're, they're a pretty strong team, I feel. I feel like they're one of the the stronger teams in this tournament. Although I I like Peace Sims team too. I feel like they're, they're a pretty strong team also. They did so. beat us last round, so there's that. I mean, we did, we played Prodigy Sims team last round. I forgot about that. I mean, they, they definitely are a formidable foe. So, uh, you know, but you can't win them all. Um, but, uh, you know, a good game, 700 point game ended up being, ended up getting a thousand points on four maps. I think that just kind of speaks to the volume of Dark Parish. I don't even think that's like a bad thing for their, you know, that's not saying their team isn't good or making distance. That's just Dark Parish coming out, I think. Yeah, the map itself is, <coughs> I don't know, I haven't really heard anyone tell me, oh, that was such a fun map to play. I don't know. Yeah. You... Mm. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I honestly that. haven't. It was kind of funny. We were screaming the other night. And at one point in the game, I just told my team, I'm like, I don't really know what to do right here, guys. <laughs> just, just make some plays. I've and, done that uh, many a times, I think, in my in my scrims and stuff on that map. Yeah, I mean, as a mentor, I, I was really just uh, just teaching them, you know. It's, sometimes it's okay to not know what you're doing. Um. Yeah, I mean yeah. it happens, you know.
especially on Dark Parish. Yep, but that is the game. Uh, what do I do when I'm not... I'm going to keep streaming. I can't like do an outro. So I'm um, still going to be playing. Here's what we'll do. We'll have an outro, then we'll just stop talking for like 10 seconds. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I, I need to be ready. Okay. Uh, I need like an image. Oh, I know what to do. Hold on. All right, here we go. I got it. And uh, that's all for tonight's matches of TFPG Tournament number four. We have one match tomorrow night, which is going to pop off at uh, 4 o'clock Central. It'll be Adam versus Fig Newtons. And for the results of all the other uh, matches tonight, go to uh, TFPG Forms and uh, check out all the all the great threads and read things and you know, sign up for TFPG. Let's get some pugs going. Have some fun. Play some some video games. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. But stay on my stream because I'm gonna be streaming at least for another hour. So I'm doing a 12 hour. But here we go. Yay! Thanks for stopping by.